Hi, my name is Joyce Kaminjuki and I greatly believe that discipleship goes beyond the four walls of the church. I'm passionate about young people, extremely passionate about young people and seeing them grow, especially um, in the area of discipleship. And I strongly believe that making disciples is not for the pastor, it's not for those who work in the church. It's something that each of us need to do wherever God has placed us, whether it's in engineering, whether it's in medicine, whether it's um, if you're a teacher, whether it's in school with your students. And I greatly believe that we need to equip um, the coming generation and even those ahead of us with this skill to be able to do that. I have worked with J-Life for about three years, although I'm not with them currently. Um, J-Life's big vision is to make disciple makers in um, Kenya and beyond, in the whole of Africa. And one of the things that really made me passionate about uh, working with J-Life is the fact that we work with young people, um, imagine leaders, young people in the church, and the basic concept was we taught them how to be disciple makers wherever they are. The Kenyan chapter of J-Life is, is small but it's really it has really grown and it has had a lot of impact uh, within Nairobi and even outside Nairobi. Uh, one of the things that um, has just been amazing to grow is to be able to train young people and it got to the place where we actually needed to train even the older people, their pastors, their, in some cases their, their senior pastors and all that and that was amazing because um, it allowed me to interact with them get uh, ministry insight and information that I may not have known. Um, it was also a good challenge for me in terms of training. Uh, it's very, uh, it was very interesting to train people who are older than you, some of whom had been in ministry for the number of years I have been alive. Um, and it was, it was exciting to see their attitudes change from looking at you like that small girl who really has, doesn't have much to offer them, but by the end of the training, they would be very glad for the um, for the information that we'd given them and for what they had learned. And you stop being that small girl and being someone who they can actually connect with and who we sit, we'd sit and discuss things on a ministry level, and that was really exciting. Um, it also allowed me to grow. Uh, there are many success stories I can give, but I think I'll give um, one of a gentleman named Simon. At the beginning, he didn't know how to do, how to work well with his, uh, with his teens and uh, his children's ministry. Although he really had passion, he would go and he had questions and things were not working as well as he would like. But after the training and with the support and follow-up we were able to give him, he was able to just um, revamp his ministry and make it even have more impact in the area that um, his church was in. And it even just grew him because now he was able to grow a team that was able to work very well under him. And um, it got to the place where he could actually comfortably not be there and the ministry would still run because he'd be able to effectively train um, his team. And it was just, it's just been, it was amazing to visit him uh, while the training was undergoing and then visit him a while later and just see how his ministry had grown and the impact had grown. And even just talking to some of the children, they were really excited and happy about how things were looking. Uh, one of the other things that I really love is that I realized with training or you know, with the repeat, repeating of the same thing, uh, you get to understand things and grasp it better. So I think my um, l uh, information on discipleship has really grown. Um, I've been able to implement in some areas, some areas I'm still growing, but I'm really glad for the opportunity. But the one thing that discipleship definitely does is transform lives, and um, it's important that we need to um, realize that discipleship goes beyond the church walls and it actually um, is about you and me and what we can do wherever God has placed us. Mm -hmm.